You were listening to the Heritage Cast Bootcast Vintage Cast? Vintage Cast Bootcast? Still haven't selected a name yet. My last video was on the Thoroughgood 1957s. Broken midsoles. Will Thoroughgood fix them? Still waiting on the answer for that. In my last episode, I went through the fact that we've got these fantastic looking boots. They're from Thoroughgood. Biggest name in, in the brands. You name it. They're the ones. You go on Rose Anvil's channel. Boom. Thoroughgood. Buy them. They're the best. They got some problems with them, but okay. I ordered four pairs in a row. Every single one of them had a cracked midsole. Go on Amazon. They got a cracked midsole from every other customer that bought them. So the main problem here is we have this vintage Americana style that you think you can get into and you're looking at it, you're looking at all these photos, you're looking at some sweet 1950s stuff and new heritage, Japanese, newfangled, selvage, various things and fancy pants lawyers who quit their jobs. <laughs> Named various names from when they worked at Hot Dog or Mexican Shops, I'm not sure which one. And they they got the stuff you're interested in it. You're like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna click the button. I'm gonna buy this newfangled Americana. Then you buy it. Well, you're disappointed if you actually know what you're doing. There was a bunch of customers that were on uh, on Amazon. They had this same boot. Well, still had a crack in it. They didn't know. They didn't know what they were looking at. And I talked to Mark, who's the global sourcing manager and production guy for Thoroughgood. Just happened to find his information on LinkedIn because I'm good like that. Message him, like, hey, buddy, your boots, they're kind of cracked. Then you try to pull the old, uh, oh, it's the Goodyear welt. It may not match, may not fit. No, other buddy, kind of did my research. I watched some Carl Murkowski, Murkowski, Murkowski. <sighs> buddy, come up with an acronym. The Carl MW podcast, the Carl cast, the Carl. The Karlski, oh, the Karlski cast. I like that. It's got a, it's got a, it's got a zing to it. I like that. Uh, Carl, please, come on. I tried to use your hashtag on, on Instagram. <laughs> I'd look it up because I, I can't spell it, dude. Okay, everybody knows the polls are kind of cool. Got some great food. Great, fantastic, beautiful women. But the last names are funny. I'm telling you, man. I'm sorry, dude. The last name. Dude, come on. No one can spell it, okay? There's no one looking in YouTube who has ever spelled your last name correctly. Ever. In the entire, entire world, okay? Please. Come up with come up with a hashtag. Carl cast. The Carlski cast. The Carl skiing cast. Out of something. Come on. Just give me that. Give me an acronym. Give me a hashtag. At least with, you know, Weston's name. I can't screw that up. There's that. Um, go on all these things, looking at all this stuff. I really enjoy this style. It's kind of cool. I want to get into it. And it's really interesting. And I think also combining the fact that you have style and there's function. It's workwear. And you don't have to be a fancy pants lawyer wearing fancy pants boots. You actually can find vintage style, vintage type boots that can function. There's a liner. You don't gotta earn your street cred where your feet bleed through your boots. No, I'm sorry, but I I was a nom back in my no, not back in my day. But in any case, I wasn't being a nom. It's in two wars, not being a nom. <laughs> Although if I was a if I was a vintage time traveler, as everybody jokes about heritage people being vintage time travelers from the 1800s, I too could have went to Vietnam. <laughs> Maybe I did. <laughs> Definitely didn't go to, you know. In any case, got this cool style. There's function. 
you have this ability to create something of value. Go to Thoroughgood, thinking I'm on my way. Buy them, four boots, cracked, all the soles. Tell the global sourcing manager, hey dude, your boots, gotta fix them. You need to buy veg tan midsoles. I'm sorry, but if it costs an extra 75 bucks, put the cost at 75 bucks more. They already went from 199 or 250 to, to 289 and 309. Okay, well then make them 350. Put veg tan leathers, midsoles in your boots. Make everybody happy. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but there's no reason this can happen. My main thing in this is that I wanted to have an opportunity to get into a workwear style that I would personally, I'm already doing most of the time. I don't even realize it. I already got some Henleys, already have some jeans. Was trying to move away from my Merrill Moet boots, which I really like, which actually is now is the concept for the boots that I want to create. Now, boots that I want to create are a Moab on steroids, on flipping Trent. Jacked out of it's Sylvester Stallone, 75 years old, cruising into his 80s. Jacked and tanned and ready to go. Um, that feels like a Moab. It's got the squish, it's got the waterproof liner that. I took from the Cobbler's Plus. Uh, I think it's Cobbler's Plus. I'm like this up. I'm gonna give this guy some some cred. Cobbler's Plus. Okay, so it is Cobbler's Plus. Everybody go to at Cobbler's Plus on YouTube. So my idea came from Cobbler's Plus. Basically, you take any boot, Thoroughgood, Danner, Red Wing, whatever it is, you upgrade the boot. So in the Red Wing's case, well, they're mostly complete construction, which is good. It's got leather, it's got the thing. So maybe you only need like a, a counter in the back. But a Thoroughgood, you got a lot of work to do. Got to rip off a synthetic bottom. Then you have this opportunity where you've got a scrap piece of rubber laying around already. It's there. Sand the sucker down rip it off the bottom of the, the midsole. That's already cracked, by the way. <laughs> rip it off the bottom of it, scrape it down. And then, or if it's already a wedge, sole or whatnot, you take your wedge, you sand it down, you slap a Vibram lug on the bottom of it, now you're in juicy booty heaven. You're in bootery heaven. You're in the vintage bootery cast. You are casting up those streets, walking on clouds. This doesn't exist at scale. Don't know why, but it's gonna give our cobblers some good fun work to do. Why not take a thorough good, rip the bottom of it off, take the synthetic welt off, take the synthetic mincel off, and sand down a wedge, slap that sucker on there with some veg tan, put a leather welt through it, and actually take another sole with some lugs and slap it on the bottom. Or if you're getting really frisky, double wedge that sucker. Double stuffed Oreo mock toes. Now you're walking on clouds, rolling deep to the club. Oh, he's like, oh, what? You, you were 6'3", you're 6'7". Now, oh, you were 5'8". You were oh, you're 6'2". Oh, snaps. Or, yeah, it's spinal damage in my case. I am walking on a fucking time bomb. 24-7. My spine feels it's going to be ripped out of my fucking neck every single day. I am in constant pain. My knees, my hips, because my spine's not supporting me, my knees and my hips are taking all the brunt of everything. And I've got flat feet on top of it. So add that, the constant pain. I am trying to create the best, most juicy booty, the most incredible dunk and dunk booze that you can ever get your hands on. We're not talking about fancy pants, lawyer stuff, where you quit your job, you start a shop. We're talking about fancy booty <laughs> boots that torque when you walk. You're floating on clouds. That is the whole entire concept of what I'm trying to create. 
And through this, well, I guess I had to go through the whole process of buying four different boots to get into Heritage Americana style. Create something of value and for myself, also helping others that helped me, especially the Warrior Angels Foundation, go and check them out. I will take a look at this. I cannot remember what their domain is. So, warriorangelsfoundation.org. Click the right, click the yellow button, donate now. If it's five bucks, it's five bucks. If it's a thousand, best a thousand. These people directly helped me get medication when I needed it. I don't get veterans benefits, I don't get social security, I don't get jack. And I can't work right now, because my spine and brain is all messed up and all that. So, go to Warrior Ninja Foundation, invest, stop being a punk, do something good. And through this, my goal, if we can make it happen, is to get every dude that's part of the Warrior Angels Foundation, custom boots made. Like, can you imagine how good it feels to have custom boot made, custom boots made for your feet after you've been back to Vietnam, back in my day? Um, might actually be some Vietnam vets in there too, which is kind of cool. Um, and don't forget our Desert Storm people, Desert Storm don't get any credit. Those guys, what, two weeks of war? Don't have no claim or glory at all. It's all GWAT or Vietnam or other stuff. My goal is to get this concept flowing through the Goodyear wealth. We're not creating fancy pants boots. We're creating functional, like a mock toe, this uh, different style from Thoroughgood, 1957 style of boot that's going to be able to you can cross between different things. Whether you're a guy working at an airport, you're an engineer, got a fancy pants lawyer job, you're doing various things. It's something that can go in between that is functional and it's not broed up. It's, you don't gotta break it in. There's no earning your street cred for Pacific Northwest how cool you are that you bled in your boots. I'm sorry, but I got some messed up feet. <laughs> They're jacked up. I mean, we weren't doing 40 miles each way and 40 miles back up and down two hills both times in the snow in Afghanistan back in my day. Actually, seriously, we're doing 40 miles up and down the hills <laughs> both twice. Yeah, about that. Um, <laughs> Fucking Afghanistan. Piece of shit. Um, in any case, got a vision. And the vision is not only the fact that we've got to have a way to have something functional. Got to create something of value that any dude can pick up and then boom, he can roll. There's a counter in the back. It's got some Gore Tex. It's waterproof. It's a boot. It's got bounce. It's got booty. We want, we want booty. That's the plan here. Um, I still gotta come up with a name. I'm not really sure what the uh, the booty cast, the vintage cast, the vintage heritage podcast, booty cast, the boot cast, vintage heritage cast, the Americana heritage style vintage cast. Something. Still working on it. I may actually, I may actually change the name every single episode. <laughs> there we go. And you guys can come up with a name that I'll change every single week of the name of my Heritage Booty Cast. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you for joining my insanity and help me create the best boots possible, so that people like me can have a boot that actually works. That is good, that has bounce, that's soft, that you don't gotta break in and earn your Pacific Northwest street cred. I'm not logging the fucked up spine, okay? Um, no. Um, 
and I don't know. Um, yeah, about that. Um, thank you guys for joining Heritage Cast, Vintage Cast, and Vintage Bootcast. And have a fantastic weekend on a Tuesday. <laughs> if you're doing a Tuesday.